In this tutorial, we're going to talk about several concepts. We're going to talk about present working directory, how to use the change directory command, and we're also going to talk about absolute path versus relative path. First of all, the command pwd stands for present working directory. This command simply tells the user where their location is in the file system. So if I go to the terminal and I type in pwd, I can see that I'm located in the etc forward slash sound forward slash events folder. CD stands for change directory. Now, in Linux, we don't use a letter like Windows does. Windows uses the C drive. Linux uses a forward slash to represent the root directory. So the absolute base of all directories is root and so forward slash is considered to be root. In order to navigate out of the events folder, I simply type change directory forward slash, and it takes me directly to the root folder. By typing in pwd, I can now see I'm located in root. To get to my home folder, which is a location in my home directory, I'm going to type in change directory space tilde cd space tilde enter. I now type in pwd for the present working directory, hit enter, and now I can see that I'm in my user home directory, jcpar tree. Clear the window. Okay, <clears throat> so that's basically how you use cd. But now let's talk about absolute paths and relative paths. An absolute path always begins at the root directory. So an example, I was in the events folder, which was inside of the sound folder, which was inside the Etsy folder, which was part of root. So this is called an absolute path. I begin at root, and then I dive into Etsy, then I dive into sound, and then finally I dive into the events folder. In these tutorials, I'm going to use the word dive to represent going downward in the file directory, and I'm going to use the word climb to indicate moving upwards in the file directory. So I'm going to use an absolute path, and I'm going to go into the events folder, change directory, root, etsy, forward slash, sound, forward slash, events, enter. And now my location, as far as the terminal is concerned, is the events folder. Present working directory, and now I can see I'm in the events folder. Clear the window. Let's talk about a relative path. A relative path is a path that is stated relative to where you are currently located in the file system. So I know that my present working directory is events. Using two dots and a forward slash means I can climb upwards one folder level in the directory system. There's another folder called modprobed, which is in Etsy. So let me show this to you first. Using the GUI, I'm going to click on File System, and that will take me to Root. Go into Etsy, and then I'm going to click up here, forward slash modprobe, Dot D. That's a folder in the Etsy folder. Go back up one level, and here it is. Now, where I'm currently located is I'm currently located in events. So what I actually want to do is to move up two levels, to climb upwards in the directory system two levels, and then dive back down into the modprobe.d folder. So here's how I do that. Change directory dot dot forward slash, that's climb up one level, dot dot forward slash, climb up another level. So now I would be located back in Etsy. Modprobe dot D, enter, and now I'm in the modprobe folder. So this was a relative path because it wasn't based on root. It was based on where I was currently located. It was relative to my current location. Now, if I wanted to get back to the events folder using a relative path, I would have to climb upward one level back into Etsy, 
and then dive down two levels back into events. So climb up one level and now dive down into sound forward slash events. You gotta use CD when you do that, by the way. <laughs> dot dot, climb up one level, sound forward slash events. There we go. Now I'm in the events folder. So in this tutorial, we've talked about the present working directory command how to use change directory, and the difference between absolute path and relative path. God bless you, wherever you are today.